In a recent interview filled with statements from Lady Gaga herself related to her portrayal as not Harley Quinn, a lot of people are a little pissed that she is not playing Harley Quinn, and she specifically talks about how she looked at what they did and said, yeah, I'm not doing that because I'm not playing that character. But apparently people are still mad because of what she's saying, despite the fact that she's not Harley Quinn. They made this explicitly clear, so I don't see why people are mad that she's not playing the character that she said she's not. So yes, let's talk about Joker 2, aka Joker, Foley Adu. Oh man, it's still kind of funny that people were like, ah, he just doesn't want to say the name of the film, he just hates this film, and I've just kind of ran along with that and been like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to call it other things. I know how it's pronounced. They make sure everybody knows how it's pronounced. Anyways, though, yeah. So let's talk about Joker 2. Let's talk about Lady Gaga. Let's talk about what she said about how she took on the role of Harley Quinn. But what we're getting is the character of Lee Quinzel. So this comes from Vogue magazine, who she sat down and talked to. And uh, she says that to her, a lot of people know who Harley Quinn is. She says that her experience was different than anybody else's because she did not look at the pop culture icon and follow in those footsteps. She wanted to do a little bit more of a quiet and different take on Harley. And then she says that if you look at Harley Quinn in the comics, she can be over emotional, over charismatic and cartoonish, and that she did not want that for her character. Instead, she wanted to play her as broken from reality and somebody that's gone quiet because of the things she's seen and done. And that this is a Harley Quinn, yes, but not really. And she says, wait for the film and you'll see what they're talking about. Okay, um, I mean, what do you guys expect from this, right? This isn't the Joker the way you know him. It's that obvious and apparent if you watch the first film. It's obvious this was never going to be Harley Quinn from the comics. That's not their goal. Todd Phillips didn't care about that. Clearly, a lot of them didn't. You know, um, you got to go into this expecting what's presented. And what's presented is a new take on these characters. Is it a little pretentious, as people are saying? Yes. Is it a little dismissive of the comics uh, character and cartoon characters' great lineage and legacy? Yes. But again, I don't see why people expected something different when that was never the intent here. I don't know how many times I can say that and people still miss the point. It's like comparing Brendan Lee's Crow to what they did with Bill Skarsgård. Skarsgård is one of my favorite actors, but he can't live up to that portrayal. Harley Quinn, played by Margot Robbie, might be the perfect version. So how do you live up to that, you know? You really can't. So you got to do your own thing and it's going to be judged on a different level. But it is what it is, so... I don't know. We'll see when the film comes out. Oh.